Welcome back for another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Motion Ducks decoy spreader. Got it down there. It is the ultimate spreader so it's two of the regular spreaders that are able to hook together and bring a lot of life to a decoy spread. If you guys didn't see the unboxing I did for the Motion Ducks decoy spreader be sure to check that out but a quick rundown as to what it is and how it works is it's basically a jerk rig but it is different. Normally like your jerk rig, you have one line of decoys and you pull that one string and they all move in one linear motion. Well, the decoy spreader, it spreads out those decoys to where you're moving a big glob of decoys all at once. So this thing's gonna be a game changer on those still days when uh, there's no decoy motion, the birds are finicky, you know, the, those classic bluebird days where it's just a struggle to duck hunt. So. We're going to get this thing deployed and show you guys how it works, see how it looks. I picked a pretty bad spot to do this and a bad day to do it. It's kind of windy, but hopefully you guys get a chance to see the decoys moving and get an idea as to what it's going to look like on a still day. But uh, we got some wind, we got some waves. I apologize in advance, but uh, it's not going to stop me. We're going to go ahead and put this thing out and take a look at it. So we've got the decoy spreader system ready to go. I've got my anchor hooked up to the bungee that connects to one of the circle pieces, kind of like right through that hook. It just has to go through one of them so then it holds on to the spreader and it doesn't go floating off anywhere. So basically what's gonna happen is these poles that all these decoys are attached to are gonna go into the holes in here and it's gonna form like a cross formation. And it's gonna have two of them connected to one another. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing put out there. Okay, so we got the decoy spreader out and the last thing that we need to do is hook up our little string that we will use to pull it to make the motion just like a regular jerk. So the sun is like right where I need to show you guys. but. We got eight decoys out there on the decoy spreader. Hopefully you guys can get a pretty decent idea of what it's gonna look like. And so imagine that's like half of your spread. Like put it in it like in a U-shaped formation and then you've got a string of decoys off to one side and a string of decoys off to the other and you have this decoy spreader right in the middle and you're pulling that thing, moving all eight decoys. You're gonna most likely have a lot of birds eyes on that movement and suck right in. So this thing looks like a deadly tool. Let's find the string here and give it a couple pulls. Here we go. Give it a quick pull back and forth. Look, they just look like they're swimming out there. You guys see that? Take a look. Whew. I wish that sun wasn't right there. That kind of sucks. Pull it. It goes back. Man, they're swimming. Hopefully this is a good demonstration as to what this thing does. I am like personally seeing this firsthand. I am amazed at the amount of motion this gives off. I'm gonna find the string one more time. I wanna give a couple more pulls. Just, it looks like ducks just swimming on the water out there and ju just doing their ducky thing. You might put a couple feeder butts out there, make it look like they're feeding, splashing around. And I'm sure on a still day, this thing is just, a game changer and I'm curious to see how this would work as just like a like a challenge video or a challenge hunt or whatever just taking eight decoys out and being able to have them all moving at one time 
it, it's got to be a game changer, and uh, it'd be a pretty effective hunt. I've got a, I've got a feeling it would work really well. I think you could pack less decoys if you're able to have more motion. So you know, there's always that strength in numbers philosophy, but I think that if you're able to have fewer decoys and get them all moving, you're gonna have way better success than putting four dozen decoys out on a very still day. So. Sometimes downsizing is the way to go. I, I, I'm totally amazed with this uh, Motion Ducks decoy spreader and I wanna encourage you guys to go check it out. If you guys don't have one of these, spend some money, get, the, get this thing, cause this thing is freaking sweet. And uh, can't wait to get it out, maybe September teal season, do some early season ducks with it and hunt with it. Maybe see if I can get some honkers on there. I might be able to get some honkers uh, maybe six honkers on there because of, uh, I don't want them touching, so we got to figure out how to spread them out a little ways for honkers, but I, I think goose season, that thing is going to be saucy. Okay, so we set it up. Let's go ahead and see how long it takes to pick up, and uh, you know, sometimes jerk rigs can be annoying to pick up, wind up, and unhook the decoys and move them all around. So let's see how quick we can get this thing picked up. Picking easy is what I like. So all in all, what do I think of this thing after just the initial use out here during the summertime and uh, not having any use with this one during season? I, like I said, I did use the regular decoy spreader during season, but I've never used the ultimate spreader. All in all, my opinions. I think these things are awesome. I think these are like one of the best innovations in decoy motion for decoy spreads. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to check the uh, Motion Ducks decoy spreaders out and pick one up for next season. You won't regret it. This thing is gonna be killer come duck season. So I, I'm amazed. It's very solidly built. I don't think anything's gonna break on it. It makes carrying decoys in really easy and I think it makes it to where you don't have to carry as many decoys as well. So that's also a plus. All in all, I think it's great. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate when you guys do that. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to do that as well. If you guys don't follow me on my social media already, be sure to do that. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the next one.